I, I rode this bus to school. Really? Back in 1957. I rode this bus to school in 1957. When I was growing up as a kid, I was a big streetcar uh, fan. I loved streetcars. My life's ambition was to become a trolley car motorman. Uh, that's all I wanted. And I hated buses. I hated and detested buses because I thought that buses themselves were responsible for all the, my beloved streetcars being scrapped. Unfortunately, buses have become, were back in the 50s, a misused instrument of progress. That's the way I like to refer to it. Buses were a misused instrument of progress. No transportation system, be it Los Angeles, anywhere, can be without buses. They can't. You need buses. But back in the 50s, they were scrapping streetcar systems all over the country and replacing with buses with no regards to what the consequences would be 50 years later like it is now. This is the only surviving war plant transit bus left. So we call it the Rosie the Riveter bus. Uh, during the war, the women of America took their aprons off and they, they put on coveralls and went to work in the defense plants, which operated seven days a week, three shifts a day. And uh, transit systems didn't run seven days a week, 24 hours a day. So the Office of Defense Transportation, federal office, uh, commissioned hundreds of these, I'm not sure of the exact number, which were built specifically to transport war workers to the defense plants. This is a twin coach and is the only surviving uh, war plant bus left. Okay, in front of that you've got, that's a P.E. White. As you can see, it's quite dirty in here, but all it needs is a good cleaning. It's just everything is dirty from the, the wind that blows out here continuously. Pull red handle to right, push to lower edge glass. Yeah, so we've got a couple buses out here that may have to be scrapped, but we don't have any choice. We just have to find someone who's got a lot of money, a Bill Gates, somebody that will realize the importance of this collection of buses. These are historical buses. Some of these buses out here are the last surviving example of their type. Absolutely. I'm almost 75 years old. I mean, how much longer can I be around to, to physically enjoy seeing these buses completely restored? I'd be happy just to see a, a handful of them restored. Okay, and then there's three. 310. 310. These buses have been sitting here for 21 years. It's nostalgic. I rode these when they were new, back in 1958. That was the thinking back in the late 40s, early 50s, that streetcars were passe, freeways, buses were the way of the future. Hey, I drove the Santa Monica Freeway the day it opened, 19, in 1964. It was marvelous. It was wonderful. But look at it now. Look at it now. There's no pleasure in driving in L.A. anymore. Do you think so? The experts told us back in 1950, we are going to create an automotive utopia. We just got to get all these streetcars and inner urbans removed so we can widen the streets. You can walk faster than the traffic on Venice Boulevard. And caught up in all that mess are the buses. We can send the 87 to the scrapper, the, the Mitsubishi, the 26 plus 39, one, 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 is that 68? Okay, so we got 40 buses here. 
There's no way to make any income on any of these. They can't be repaired, they can't be operated, they can't be removed, they can't be nothing. You can't even fit between most of these buses to get, even a body can't fit back there. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell you, I really don't know what to tell you. This is, this is the end.